الحمد للہ رب العالمین ولاقب المتقین ولا عنوان اللہ علیہ وسلمین وصل اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلا آلہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد ایو لحبت فی اللہ may Allah سبحانہ وتعالی have mercy upon us and mercy upon you and may Allah سبحانہ وتعالی forgive us of our many sins and forgive you as well آمین یا رب العالمین and may Allah سبحانہ وتعالی bless us with عم نافیا و رزق طیبا و عمل متقبلا آمین یا رب العالمین قال المصنف رحمہ اللہ تعالی امام بابا حاری رحمہ اللہ تعالی regarding the 14th point in his treaty شرح سنة قال يعلم السر و اخفا و على عرشه استوى و علمه بكل مكان لا يخلو من علمه مكان امام بابا حاری رحمہ اللہ تعالی said ایو لحبتی فی اللہ our lord is the first without uh, saying any when and the last without an end he knows what is secret and what is hidden he ascend uh, he ascended over his arsh over his throne and his knowledge is in every place and no place is free of his knowledge Imam Baba Hari rahimahullah ta'ala clarified the aqid of Ahl Sunnah Ahl Sunnah he will jama'a the aqidah that was espoused by Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and first and foremost revealed by Allah azza wa jal fi kitabih al-kareem that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this affirms Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's ilm that he, his knowledge his knowledge is infinite Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows everything he knows everything that has happened he knows everything that will happen he knows everything that could have happened subhanahu wa ta'ala and his ilm it uh, encompasses all things and breaking down the statement of Imam Baba Hari rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, يَعْلَمُ السِّرْ وَأَخْفَى He says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the secrets and what is hidden. And upon his, uh, uh, over his, his throne, he ascended. And that his knowledge encompasses all things. And nothing uh, is hidden. There is no place which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not knowledgeable about. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows all things. And astawa ayyul ahabbati fillah, and we went into detail into this in our study of Aqid al Wasatiyah, so I'm not going to go extensively into this uh, point. We're just going to keep it very brief. Because we want to try to get through this treatise and just gain the, the benefit of this treatise. And you can go to other books and there's many books in the English language now that are translated that go into depth about some of these very issues. And regarding Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that throughout the Quran. And the Salaf of this Ummah, the early scholars meaning the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een, they didn't ask how. And they didn't make ta'wil fasid. They didn't um, uh, distort those principles and say that no, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, they didn't negate it. The fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rose above his arsh. They did not distort it and change its meaning as the asha'ira do, which are probably the most prevalent uh, sect in this time and age that still hold, clings to this belief is the Asha'ira and many other groups they have aspects with regards to this point in Creed so they agree with the Asha'ira or perhaps you'll find many Ashari's that are Ashari Sufi they follow a particular Tariqa maybe they're Naqshbandi maybe they're Tijani maybe they're Harari as Abdullah like Jamaat al-Ahbash who had uh, Bay'ah to several different Tariqah, according to his own book, which I've read myself, which I've looked, and I do own a couple of books of his books that he wrote himself. So I've read uh, a little bit of his Sirah and so forth. So these are things that they say about themselves. So you'll find that being the most prevalent that distort the, uh, the Sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, especially with regards to Estoa, they say that Estoa means Estola. So here they've made uh, tahrif, they have distorted 
the meaning of his uh, of his stoa, and this is tahrif. This is tahrif. They say lohui and tahrif ma, uh, ma'nui. This is ma'nui wa lohui. Why? Because ma'nui means in its meaning. So by saying that istoa means istola, so istoa in Arabic means to raise amongst amongst its meanings is to to raise up. And it, it, and it um, means, you know, it has to do with alu, to be up high and, and raising. They say, they change it to, to the meaning, to mean istola. So this is tahrif ma'nawi. This is a change or a distortion in the meaning. Also, this falls under tahrif Lohoi, meaning to distort with regards to the language, to the Arabic language. Why? Because istoa, it looks similar to istola. Istoa and istola are spelled very similar, except istola, it has the lem. It has, it is added a lem. So here, they've actually altered the word itself. So this is why you say this is tahrif lohui, that they've changed the actual uh, language or the term itself, and they've distorted in the meaning. Because yastelzim had it. It becomes uh, absolutely necessary that if you change the word itself, that it pretty much is going to change the meaning. So they fall under both of those distortions, the Asha'ira and those who follow their tariqah and follow their madhab in understanding the divine names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that they fall into this trap. And this is a trap, this is Talbis Iblis, this is from the shaitan. Here's uh, one statement of one, of one of the Salaf, and there's countless, we, we have books, I have books in front of us that I could read countless statements, but again, we're just going to keep it Mukhtasar, we're going to keep it simple. And if you want to go back for more details, especially go to Bin uh explanation of Aqidat Wasatiyah, because I think it's completely translated into English. And go to the part when Bin Uthaymin, Allama Bin Uthaymin al Thaqi, where he explains that and he brings, of course, uh, Adilla from Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah. Qala Abu Amr al-Dani rahimahullah ta'ala annuhu subhanahu fawqa samawatihi mustawun ala arshihi mustawul ala jami'i khalqihi wa ba'in minhum bi dhatihi ghayr ba'in bi ilmihi muhit bihim ya'lam sirrihim wa jahrihim wa yara harakatihim wa sakinatihim لا تخفى عليه منهم خافية على ما ورد به خبره الصادق وكتابه الناطق. So here, Abu Amr al-Dani rahimahullah ta'ala says, speaking about Allah Azza wa Jal, the Most High, the only one worthy of worship, the one who rose above his throne, Subhanahu. As he said, the Kitab al Kareem, he said about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He subhanahu is over His heavens. Focus on Mawatihi. Mustawan ala arshi and above His throne. Mustawan ala jami al khalqihi. And Allah is above and uh, in control of all of His creation. وَبَعِنْ مِنْهُمْ بِذَاتِهِ And he is separate. He himself is separate from his creation. And غَيْرَ بَعِنْ بِعَلْمِهِ But his knowledge encompasses everything. It is not separate from his creation. His knowledge encompasses everything. مُحِيْتْ him. It surrounds everything. It includes everything. It encompasses everything. The ilm of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. عالم الغيب والشهادة. Allah subhanahu wa taala. He said, يعلم سرهم. And Allah knows their secret and knows what they say, what they utter openly. And He sees their movements and motions. And when they are silent or when they 
uh, when they when they are motionless. Nothing is hidden from him, subhanahu wa ta'ala, as is mentioned in the khabr, or the what has been articulated by a sadiq. And a sadiq, ayyul ahabbati fillah, here is referring to Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the truthful. Wa kitabihi adnatak, and the Quran, the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which was articulated by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is his speech, this is the Quran. This is what Ahlul Sunnah believes. This is what Ahlul Iman believes. Ahlul Iman believes in the Hadith of Jibreel, where Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam said, when he was asked about Iman. So this shows us from our Iman. And tu'mina billahi wa malaykati wa kutubihi wa rasulihi wa liyawm al-akhir wa tu'minu bi qadri khayrihi wa shar. Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam asked Muhammad, uh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about Iman. And the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, and tu'mina billahi, it is believing in Allah. So this is what Ahl Iman, they believe in Allah. We've never seen Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But we believe in Him, Tabarak wa ta'ala. And we believe that the Quran is His divine speech and may Allah bless us to practice it and read it and reflect upon it. And all of his books we believe in. And tumina billahi wa malaikati. And we believe in his angels. Wa kutubihi. And his books. Wa rasulihi. And his messengers. Alayhim afal salatu wa salam. Wa liyawm al akhir. And the day of judgment. We believe in the day of judgment. We believe in yawm al qiyamah that we're all going to be raised up and we're all going to be held accountable for what we did in this dunya. وَتُؤْمِنَ بِقَدْرِ خَيْرِهِ وَشَرَّ And we believe in the divine destiny, the divine decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the good of it and the bad of it. That whatever happens, it's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's still our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who created our actions. He created all things. And we have limited free will. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has knowledge over all things. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created our will. But he gave us a choice to choose khair or shar, to choose halal or haram, to choose sunnah or bid'ah, to choose iman or kufr. So all of this is a part of the divine decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Ahli Iman believes in that. Going back to some of the ayats, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمَ الرَّحْمَنَ الْعَرْسِ إِسْتَوَىٰ That the most merciful rose above his throne. So we believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rose above his throne in a manner that suits his majesty, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we don't distort that, we don't negate that, we don't uh, change the meaning, we don't uh, ask how. But rather we, a taslim fi nusus. This is, this is what Ahli... <coughs> <coughs> the Iman is upon. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, in Surah al-Baqarah, Alif Lam Mim Thalika al-Kitab la rayba fi hudil lil-muttaqeen Al-Ladhinu yu'minun bil-ghaybi wa yuqimun al-salat wa mimma razaqanahum yunfiqun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem after Alif Lam Mim Thalika al-Kitab la rayba fi That is the book where there's which in contains no doubt. There's no doubt in it. And it's a guidance for the muttaqeen, for those who have taqwa. The Quran is a guidance for those who have taqwa. If you want success, truly, and it's easy for me to say this on my tongue, and may Allah forgive us for our shortcomings in practice, then it's going back to the Quran. Hudun lil muttaqeen. It's guidance for the muttaqeen, for those who have taqwa, those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who adhere to his commandments, commandments and avoid the muharramat. Hudun lil muttaqeen. Alladhina yu'minun bil ghayb. Then Allah gives us a wasp. He gives us a description of the muttaqeen. Alladhina yu'minun bil ghayb. Those who believe in the ghayb, they believe in the unseen. يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة as we just heard the adhan and I'll be leaving to go to the masjid very shortly يؤمنون بالغيب 
يُقِمُونَ الصَّلَاةِ وَمِمَّا رَزَقَنَهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ And from what they are given, what Allah has given you, you spend in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah bless us to spend our wealth in His cause. Ameen. Increase our rizq so we can spend it in His cause even more. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. So all of these, these are the sifat of the mu'min. And the first one, of being of utmost importance, يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْغَيْبِ That they believe in the unseen. So we don't ask how, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rose above His throne. We don't distort it, we don't change it, because He said it in seven places, I believe, in the Qur'an. Seven different verses. الرحمن على عرس استوى ثم استوى على عرش How many times did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say that in the Qur'an? الرحمن على عرش استوى So we believe in that as Ahli Iman. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with tawfiq and bless us with ikhlas, with thabat and protect us from the sharr of Ahli Bid'ah wa Zandaka and those people who distort the religion of Islam. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم